Okay, so I totally thought that my camera was recording the entire time I was doing my right eye, and I realized that it wasn't. So, <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. It's like 11 o'clock, and I got no sleep last night, so I'm kind of like not with it right now. But, um, all I really did was I put on Max Painterly Paint Pot all over my lid, up to my eyebrow, and underneath my eyelash line on the bottom. And Painterly, obviously, for those of you something on the back, sorry, um, who don't know, Painterly is just like a skin tone color. Then on top of that, I put NYX's Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Black Bean, and that's just black. Um, so any kind of black base will do. The reason why I use the Painterly first and then the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil is because the eyeshadow pencils will crease if you use them by themselves. So definitely use some kind of um, primer or base underneath the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil. Then I took MAC um, Mineralized Eyeshadow in Blue Flame and this came out, came out with their Style Black Collection. Um, it's just a really pretty black and blue eyeshadow with a lot of glitter in it. There's little specks of like silver glitter also. Um, it is a mineralized skin finish. Skin finish, listen to me, I can't talk. Um, it is a mineralized eyeshadow, so it is going to be messy to work with like all of them. Um, you're going to have a lot of fallout, of course. That's kind of what the color looks like when it dry. But in this look, we're going to use it wet. So what I did was I took this with an eyeshadow, a wet eyeshadow brush. You can use Max Fix Plus if you want, or you can use just plain water. I just use plain water. Um, you don't want to soak the brush, of course, but you want it to be damp. And I put that um, blue flame all over my lid. Then I took a blue Annabelle pigment in this kind of electric blue. And I used a crease brush, and I also used that wet, and I just put that electric blue wet all in my crease area. So the next thing we're going to do, well, then after that, I used a, this is a crease brush from Sephora, but I use it for blending. Um, I just used this to kind of blend out um, the wet Annabelle pigment, the electric blue. And I just blended it in a little bit with the blue flame. Um, now what I'm going to do is use that same brush. And I'm going to take that Annabelle pigment again, the electric blue. This time I'm going to use it dry, though. Um, you can make sure you tap off any excess because pigments are a pain in the butt to work with sometimes. And you're basically going to put it all over your lid. So you're going to go all over the blue, um, yeah, the blue flame. And again, you're just going to go up into your crease. Basically what we're doing is blending the colors together in a way. Um, if you do get fallout, you can fix that later. I'm just using a baby wipe to kind of wipe it away for now. And you're just, like I said, you're going to blend it. You're going to go a little bit above the crease. And like I said, you're going to just put that all over now. And what that's going to do is it's going to add a little bit more color to the blue flame. You're going to get more of a blue instead of like that black color. And then in the crease, you're going to have that pop of um, blue, which would be a nice, to me, a nice contrast to the darkness of the lid color. Now, if you want, you can make, obviously, um, the edges sharp. You can use a piece of scotch tape, or if you're that talented, um, you can just do a straight line. I'm just going to do it so that it's coming around in a circle. Then what I'm going to do is just do my highlight, and I'm going to be using this Estee Lauder eyeshadow palette. It was a free gift. Um, not a free gift. It was $55. This was part of a package that was $55 from Estee Lauder with any purchase of um, 
like a perfume set. So it came with this and it came with a bunch of other stuff. Um, it has actually some really pretty colors in it. Um, I'll do either a review or a look with these at some point. And I'm just going to take this white color. So any white highlight color will do. And I'm just going to put that under my eyebrow. And then I'm going to go into the corner of my eye. And I'm going to go a little bit underneath. And now I'm just going to go and I'm going to do my eyeliner and mascara and all that. And when I come back, I'll let you know what I did and what I do. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. Um, all I did was on my top lash line and bottom waterline, I used Max Black Track Fluid Line. Um, and what I did, I saw a few gurus do this. I'm not a pro at this at all, so it's not perfect. Um, I don't know how to explain it other than kind of like a fish tail, maybe. Um, where I basically took the eyeliner from my top lash line and you can see I kind of made a line going up and then I connected it you know from my bottom waterline and I kind of made it going down so it's kind of like a triangle almost just without that I don't know baseline um, I just kind of thought it was fun to do with this look especially since it's you know like I said based off of Adam Lambert meets Lady Gaga so um, that's it for the eyes. Oh, um, for mascara, I just use CoverGirl's Lash Blast Lux. Um, if you have false eyelashes, that would probably be perfect for this look. I've never done false eyelashes. I don't have any, so I just kind of piled on the mascara and it came out okay. Um, for my cheeks, I used Max um, Blush and Tippy from the Hello Kitty collection. And I figured that if I'm going all out with the eyes, I might as well go, go all out with the cheeks and the lips and everything. So I use that. For bronzer, I use um, Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess, which is a soft matte bronzer. This was just like a sample one. Um, but it's just a bronzer with a little bit of shimmer to it. For my lips, I put on first. Um, when I first started doing my makeup, it's um, by a company called Kiss My Face, which I'm actually going to be talking to you guys a little bit more about in probably a few more videos. Um, it's a lip balm, vanilla honey. It's just a regular lip balm. There's no color to it. I just kind of put it on to soften up my lips a little bit. Um, then I used Estee Lauder's um, lipstick in candy, and it's a really, really pretty pink color. If I can, that's it right there. I hope you guys can see that. And then on top of that, I used, if I can find it, um, give me one second. I think I left it on my desk. One second. Okay, sorry. Um, I left the lip gloss on my dresser over there. Um, I used Sally Hansen's Diamond 12 Hour Lip Treatment and this is in the color In Love and it is a really really pretty pink color with shimmer. Let's see if I can swatch that too. And obviously it's the bottom one so it went really well with um, the lipstick. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, this is not, I would not, definitely not recommend this as an everyday look. I would not even recommend this as a nighttime look. I would more recommend this as maybe like a costume look or if you're going to, you know, a club at night and you want to really go all out there with your makeup. Um, it was just a really fun look for me to recreate and I like using the bold colors, especially the blues, um, especially something like um, Max Style or Blue Flame from the Style Black Collection. I don't use it that much because it's so, so dark. Um, but it definitely works when you, you know, use the black base and then, um, I don't know, 
like a lighter blue over it. I think it works anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm going to have pictures at the end. Um, and that's pretty much it. So leave me your comments in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to me. I want to thank you guys so much. I've made it to over 400 subscribers and I am so excited. Um, don't forget I have a contest going on. If you don't know about that, then I will put a link to that in the sidebar, whichever way that is. Um, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and plug hugs. Bye-bye.